Hey, hello everyone guys, this is Kedar here and Bluestacks is a great application. With the help of this, you can play Android games onto your Windows machine. Recently, Bluestack announced their Bluestack 5 which has 40% faster setup time and 40% increased performance with less RAM usage. So today in this video, we will install Bluestack 5 and let's see how it works and how we can utilize it to play your favorite Android games onto your Windows system. So let's get started. So before we jump right into the video, please hit that like, share this video, subscribe to our channel so that you'll never miss any videos from this channel. So let's get started. So Bluestack 5 has a major improvement in terms of the CPU usage and the RAM usage. In Bluestack 5, they are using 40% less RAM and also the CPU consumption is lesser so you can get higher FPS in your Android games. The latest Eco mode will reduce your graphics usage by 97% and CPU usage by 87%. That is huge improvements. And talking about the minimum system requirement, you can have Windows 7, Intel or AMD processor with 2 gigs of RAM and 5 GB of disk space. I have given link in the description below so you can download this. Click over here and it will be simply downloaded. And opening up the Bluestack installer, you can see it's just one click install. So let's click on install now. And there you go. This is our Bluestack 5 beta. So this is the first boot screen. As you can see, we are starting our Bluestack 5. So over here, we have four system applications, gallery, chrome, settings and other things. And we also have play store. So without wasting any time, let's see how we can download the apps. First, we need to sign up and there you go. Now, you have access to full-fledged Play Store. You can basically download any of the game that you need. So, let's go and download Free Fire. Also, let me download Among Us and other few games that I like. And talking about the Android applications, well, there are tons of Android apps that you can utilize in your Windows system. And this is the Bluestack Multi-Instance Manager. So, you can open up multiple Android instances over here. Also, you have the eco mode over here that can save your CPU and graphics. You can turn on this eco mode if you are running some lightweight apps over here. Talking about the user interface, sliding across the top side, you can access the notifications and other things like that. Here onto the left side, you can access pretty much all the buttons that you need right from the volume panel, back button, home button, recent apps, all is available over here. So here it is. Now that my games are installed successfully, let's launch the games and let's see how they works. So talking about the launching time, they are as usual. Nowadays the Ryzen systems are crushing the benchmarks anyways. I'm using Ryzen 5 2600 and you can see the performance. I did not notice any sort of a glitch in my gameplay. It is working perfectly smoother. I have tested bunch of games. A smooth gameplay was quite a fun enough to enjoy the game itself. Now talking about the settings, here you have a bunch of options. But most importantly, let's say if you want to sideload any application, you can simply go into the media manager and import any sort of a file from Windows. Clicking on import from Windows, you can import any file that you need in the Bluestack. So that's a really great thing if you want to sideload any application. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video a lot. Please hit that like, share this video, subscribe to our channel and click on ringing bell notification icon so you'll never miss any of my latest upload and I will catch you in the next one. Goodbye.